All right then, so now we have an array of jobs. I wanna output them to the browser. And to do that, we're gonna pass this in as a prop to another component, which we'll create in a second. But first of all, for this lesson, make sure you have Vita installed. That's that package I showed you earlier right here. And you also want to update the settings for this. So go to settings and then type Vita template right here and press enter and you want to make sure that this option is checked right here enable template interpolation service so that's going to help us when we're outputting data in our components later on because it will give us those options in a drop down menu so make sure that's checked right there all right then so let's create this job list component that we're going to pass in the jobs to so inside components i'm going to create the job list.view file like so and then i'm going to type ts to give me some options and i'm going to click on this bottom one right here composition ts view and that automatically boilerplates this script for me where it imports define component and it creates the object for us using it now i'm going to get rid of setup because we don't need that just yet and i'm going to create a template up here like so and then at the bottom, I'll do a script tag, not script tag, sorry, a style tag for later as well. So that's the component. And now we want to nest that inside the app component. So first of all, we have to import it, which I'll do right here. So import, and it's going to be job list from dot forward slash components forward slash job list now when we're using typescript we have to use the dot view extension all right so we've imported that we need to register the component down here in the components property so job list and also let's get rid of this and replace it with job list like so now we want to pass in as a prop the jobs right here that we return so let's do that using data binding we're going to call the prop jobs you can call it what you want though and we're going to set it equal to jobs so the data that we pass to the template we're passing that now into the job list component all right so now we want to accept the jobs inside the jobs list component so to do this we need a props property right here now this could be just an array of strings where each string is the props that we want to accept for example jobs like this and then we could use the jobs data inside our template but this doesn't leverage any prop validation by view or type checking by typescript we want to take advantage of those things so instead of a simple array like this we make an object and inside that object each property will be a prop that we accept so we accept the jobs and this in itself would be an object now this object is going to have two things it's going to have a required property and we're going to say true this prop is required for this component since it is a job list and secondly the type now the type in our case is an array of job objects now we can't directly place a typescript type here to say that we're accepting job object in an array because this type check here is just a runtime check by view using javascript not typescript so for now we're just going to use a javascript type array like so with a capital letter and we'll come back to this to leverage typescript types to make it more specific for now though let's try using this jobs data inside our template so up here at the top I want to use a v4 to cycle through the jobs before i do that i'm going to create a div with a class of job hyphen list this is so we can style it later on inside that a ul and i want to output an li tag for each job in the jobs array so i can use v4 to do that so li and then use the v4 directive set that equal to job in jobs so we're cycling through the jobs array, which we have right here, and referring to each one as a job. So we can access that job inside this li tag. Now we're getting an error at the minute, and that's because it expects a key property. And a key property is gonna be unique for each item that we output. Now we have a unique value ID for each one of these objects, so we can use that as the key. So I'm gonna data bind to the key, and I'm gonna set it equal to something. Now I'm going to set it equal to job 
dot and then notice how we don't get any code suggestions it doesn't know what properties are on this job object and that's because we've not really typed them properly down here so all it knows is that this is an array of objects and not necessarily what properties are on those objects so it can't give us those code suggestions let me just place id here for now and we'll come back to that in a second also notice this error if i hover over job it says object is of type unknown so it's basically saying that it doesn't know that this is going to have the id property so it's given us this kind of error so what we need to do is type our prop a bit better right here now the way we do this is by using type assertion along with something called prop type from view so first of all let me import prop type up here prop type this is the way that we can use type assertion on props like this and then we can say as prop type and then we use a generic to pass in the type should be a space there so much like we use a generic over here for refs we do the same thing over here so this time it's just going to be job array okay so now we're saying this should be an array and the objects inside it should be a job all right so we have to import this job object or this job interface for it to work let me do that import job from and i'm going to use the at sign to say go to the root of the project then we want to go into the types folder then we want the job file all right so now this should work we're not getting any errors and now if i come to this thing over here if i delete that and say job dot we can see all of these different options now because it knows about this job object it knows that the props that we're getting right here the jobs is of type job array so it knows the individual objects inside that array is a job so let's carry on with this template and by the way this is the reason we added this setting over here if i can find settings before if i search for vita template this is the reason you need this checked right here without that you might not get these suggestions all right so make sure that is ticked cool so now let's carry on with the template i want to output now an h2 for the title and the location so we're going to do curly braces and inside that we'll say job dot and it's going to be the title and then i'll do a hyphen or rather we'll say in and then curly braces again job dot location and then beneath that i'm going to do a div for the salary so div dot salary and inside there we'll do a paragraph tag and output the salary so job dot salary and then the zelda currency which is rupees all right so after the salary we'll do some kind of description so let's do a div for that div dot description now we don't have the description inside our data objects we could add them if we wanted to for now all i'm going to do is a load of lorem ipsum so lorem tab to generate this all right then so that is our template if we save it this should all work we can see the title the location and the salary as well and we're using the id for the key right here awesome now there's one more thing i want to do and that is just to add a few styles and i'm copying these from my repo so you can do the same thing if you want so let me paste them in right here dead simple first of all the job list which surrounds the whole thing we give that a max width and some margin the ul take away the padding the li the list style type is none background of white bit of padding and margin and a border radius the h2 we give some margin and capitalize salary flex etc 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 so the styles are not important what's important is how we've used typescript to type our prop right here also using prop type as well so if i save this now hopefully this is going to look a bit better awesome so next up we're going to look at using functions in the setup hook with typescript